Well, hello again, my friends. It's Cami from the blog Tidbits. I'm really excited for today's handmade Christmas home item. I think I've said that about all of them, but this one I just particularly adore, and it is a little paper angel that I'm going to show you how to make. It's so easy, super fun to get the kids involved, and the results are just darling. So I'm going to walk you through some supplies that I um, narrow down to really elevate the look of something that is just as simple as a paper angel. And I'm using them as ornaments for the tree, but they're just really darling, and I think you'll enjoy making them. So I kind of came upon this idea, um, my kiddos were actually cruising Pinterest for just some fun kids craft ideas for Christmas, and they saw a paper angel similar to this, but it was definitely um, a kids craft. <laughs> Cute, but I looked at it and thought, you know what, I think I can elevate that look by creating something that's really quite beautiful, just made out of paper. and so. Here's the supplies and some pointers on the paper that you might want to use to really get this cute, elevated um, paper angel look. So the supplies are really basic. You're going to want a glue stick, um, some ribbon for the hanging. I just opted to use this twine. I think it gives it a nice rustic look. Um, and then you'll want some wooden beads or I guess any kind of bead that you might find. I just found these at Hobby Lobby. Um, I tried a, a few different sizes. This is more of a medium size bead. Just really kind of depends on the size of your angel, how proportionate you want it to be. But a wooden bead with um, the hole through it so that you can put the string or ribbon into it. Make sure you have a stapler, scissors, of course, um, a glue gun. Did I already mention that? <laughs> Okay, then let's talk about the paper. So I tried this a few different ways and with different types of paper. And here's what I found out. Cardstock is too thick. Um, like the thicker scrapbook paper is too thick, which is sad because there are so many beautiful varieties of cute scrapbook paper. But it just makes the folds just too thick and it doesn't lay quite as nice. So regular printer paper or notebook paper works great, but it's not super fancy. But if you wanted to do this for a kid, you could easily do like a pretty colorful construction paper or colorful printer paper weight. So not too heavy, not as thick as cardstock. But this is what I found on Amazon and at Hobby Lobby is this handmade paper that has this beautiful um, rough edging that looks like it's almost been torn or it's just, uh, it just has a lot of character because it's handmade. And that edging makes the cutest angel. I just think it just adds the perfect amount of character. This is pretty flimsy paper. I would say it's about equal to like a printer paper weight, if not a little thinner. It's just got this texture that is so amazing. So as far as paper size goes, mine is nine by six. Um, I tried it with like eight and a half by 11 printer paper. It made for a little bit of a bigger angel, but I've found this nine by six. It makes just the cutest size and really works well as far as proportions go for hanging on our tree. Um, so look for that. I will actually link to this um, loose sleeve. I think it's actually considered watercolor paper, but handmade paper on Amazon in the size 9x6 if you want to do exactly what I'm doing. Um, also at Hobby Lobby they have notebooks that are bound with this kind of paper in it. And actually my paper from Amazon didn't come in time when I wanted to do this and to get it filmed to show you. So I actually just tore some of the paper out of the bound book that I got at Hobby Lobby. So that's an option if you want to go pick that up right away. Um, otherwise, I will link to the same stuff on Amazon. So I'm going to get you a close up here on how to make them really easy and a lot of fun. For one paper angel, you're actually going to need three sheets of paper of the nine by six 
should be the same if you're using any other kind of paper, but get three of them. And we're just gonna do the simple accordion folds that you did all through elementary school. <laughs> so I do about an inch of the fold, flip it over and just continue this accordion fold until I get to the very end. Okay, and then you can do that right away with the other three sheets of paper, or sorry, the other two sheets of paper, so that all three pages are folded like an accordion. Okay, now take two of your accordion folds and you're going to actually join these two together. Oops. And think about if you have this kind of specialty paper, what side of the paper you want to be like the end of the skirt. Um, I try to get them to kind of look the same. And then you need to kind of glue these really quick together. So I've just got a glue stick here and I'm gonna join them together. Let that glue kind of dry. And then I'm going to simply staple these together. So you can kind of hold on tight, let that glue dry a little bit, but that is basically your angel skirt. Okay, and then for this top piece, this is actually going to be the wings. So you wanna think, do I want the rough side of the paper to be the front or the folded? It really doesn't matter. Um, I've done both on this one. You can see I have the rough side showing. Of course, there's the reverse side as well, but I guess it's just something for you to think about. But anyway, I'm gonna fold that in half, increase it really good and then make sure that this fits on. So we're going to attach these wings first by gluing down these sides to the wings. And I've found that a hot glue gun works best to get these attached. So once that's dry, um, before we glue on the head, if you'll notice, these will still open up. So I just take my glue gun and dab just a little bit of glue at that crease so that those just stay nice and closed. And if you were doing these for kids, I don't know that that would be too necessary, but I'm hoping to make these angels to last Okay, so that's how easy <laughs> the body is. Now take your wooden bead and put a generous amount of hot glue right at the top and press your bead on there and hold it for a while to let that glue dry. Okay, now prep your ribbon or string and just grab the length you want a little piece and tie a knot right at the end so that you have a loop. Okay, and then all I do is put a little glue right inside of the top of the angel's head and work that piece of string or ribbon down into it and then let it dry. That's really how easy those darling paper angels are.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick paper angel tutorial and get a chance to make them. I would love to see it if you do. Go ahead and share on Instagram and use um, my handle to tag me at Cami Tidbits and I would love to see your paper angels. I think these would be a really fun idea if you have a holiday party um, for kids or adults. They're just kind of simple <laughs> but very satisfying to make. We have really enjoyed sprinkling them around their tree, our Christmas tree. Um, we're not quite done with it yet. I have a few more ornaments that I want to make for it, but I feel like so far <laughs> the angels on the Christmas tree are my absolute favorite ornament on that tree. I just love how they look and that they're just, they're handmade but very elevated and I think they're a really fun project. So anyway, if you want to spend a little more time with me, go ahead and head over to my blog. I will have a step-by-step -step picture tutorial there for you to look at if you need to slow it down and see each step. Um, so check that out at tidbits-cami.com. And then I would love to have you take a minute to shop with me at tidbitsandcompany.com where I sell my products. I have my 2023 planner out for sale and um, lots of beautiful linen products that I design and that my mother-in-law and sister-in-law make for the shop. So a lot of pretty things I hope you enjoy taking a look at and find something for your home. All right, that's it for today. And you can bet I will be back to share more inspiration for the keeper of the home and for your handmade Christmas home. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll talk soon.